Healthy pregnant women are up to 18 times more likely to be hospitalised with influenza complications than women who are not pregnant. Pertussis, otherwise known as whooping cough, is most dangerous in the very youngest babies. Among babies admitted to intensive care with whooping cough, about one in six will die or be left with permanent damage. Vaccines for influenza and pertussis protect mum against disease reasonably well. However, what is really exciting is they work even better in baby. Recent research shows that more than 90% of babies whose mothers were vaccinated against pertussis in pregnancy are protected against the disease for the first few months of life. Pregnant women are not at any greater risk of reactions to vaccines and you and your baby can be vaccinated at your general practice. In some centres the vaccines are available for mum through antenatal clinics. Vaccinating when you're pregnant is safe. We know that if we can give women the influ influenza vaccine and the whooping cough vaccine means that we can protect the mum and hopefully get her through pregnancy safely and we can introduce that first vaccine to the baby for whooping cough. That's it. Babies should get their first lot of immunisations at six weeks. It's been, that time has been chosen because although the babies are getting some immunity from their mums, from the breast milk, that that's going to start to wear off and so if they start at six weeks and continue on from there then their babies are less likely to get those early childhood illnesses that can make them so sick. I think that the benefits of vaccination will always outweigh the risks. Absolutely. And um, the discomforts, there's no denying that you can have some uncomfortable times after immunisation but compared to the consequences of not immunising on time these things are still worthwhile. If you get to the door of a house where there's a baby with whooping cough and you can hear that awful struggle for breath it's something that scars you as a practitioner for life. Vaccinate, 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 it's preventable and why would you risk your child becoming unwell? There's so many myths around vaccinations and the risks with vaccination when you put the balance in there, rejecting your child, I think that has to come first.